Are you going to do your HGV license? Or you've just passed your HGV license? Not sure on driver's hours? Not sure on working time? Not sure how you hitch up to a trailer? Not sure how you strap a load? Then why not check out the new essential trucker's handbook? Crack a little book, jam packed with information, lots and lots of information on it. Nice handy size to carry around. I keep it in my shelf up the top there, so if I need it, I'll just refer to it. It's got so much information in it, guys. Uh, link will be in the description. Take a look, check it out, enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Morning. Very good morning, guys, gals. How the devil are we? You join me on Thursday, 6 a.m. Uh, I've had 11 hours off. As you know from last week's vlog, I am on ETEX this week. So at the moment I'm uh, solo. So I'm gonna be bobtailing it back over to ETEX now, pick up my trailer, uh, going into London again, into Wembley. Uh, Monday I went into Islesworth. Uh, Tuesday I went into Wembley. Yesterday I went into Hayes. And today I'm going back into Wembley, but a different store. I've uh, been going to Selco's and uh, went to a minister, uh, part of Jusen's yesterday. And uh, I come back out of there empty to Swindon, uh, into B&Q, and I pick up a load of pallets to come back to Shepherd Avermouth. And then I drop the trailer back to the yard, uh, back up to uh, Etex. So I load it overnight, strap it all down. So all I gotta do is pick it up, strap the curtains up, and away to go. It's an AM delivery, so any time before 12 o'clock, so I'm told. Um, they said that about yesterday's, and it was up until half past three, but I normally go in there for about six o'clock. And, uh, and then make my way up, so it's not too bad. It's pretty good. Um, been staying in Godano services every night this week. It's literally five minutes from Etex, same junction, uh, Portbury Dock. And as you can hear as well, no beeping. It does go off every now and again, if I'm breaking or whatever else. Um, I think it picks up something on the, uh, the bodywork. Uh, but it is nowhere near as bad as it was last week when I first had it. And uh, the day that I was recording, when it was really empty. Now I'm, I've driven in severe rain this week truck is bogging so I haven't, had, I haven't been back to the yard at all um, say it was Wednesday last night like yesterday I should have gone home yesterday but um, that didn't happen uh, but they did say you know I'm gonna be out all week this week so I'm gonna have to make an exception and do my injection tomorrow night when I go home I'm feeling it a little bit in the hands today because obviously I haven't had the injection but uh, here we go we'll see See how it goes. Um, yes, but the, uh, the DVS, uh, well, the not the full DVS, but the, uh, the proximity sensor is behaving itself. So it's not constant beeping. depends I don't know whether the trailer is going to be in lanes which is just in there or whether it's actually going to be in Etex itself I say Etex it Siniat it is it's Siniat work uh, but the company is now called Etex but it still says Siniat on the paperwork yeah Siniat on the bottom there look so yeah, you go into somewhere and uh, and say you got Etex on and they just look at you silly and you say oh Siniat Ah, right, past the board, yeah. So, yeah. We 
it's literally a couple of minutes away just pulling in now into this one and then uh, turn left through the gate so they wanted me out of here by six o'clock why I don't know but they want me out of here by six but I didn't finish till 7, so I couldn't start till 11. I worked a 12 hour shift yesterday, so I'm not reducing. So I had to have 11 off. I'll talk to the young lady on the gate now. Good morning. morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you. No worries. Uh, Wembley again, I think. Uh, hang on, two ticks. Messages, messages, messages. Do, 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 do. Uh, 402. Lovely, you got the number for the... Uh, Yep, lovely jubbly. Is it in here or is it over at Lanes? It doesn't say, so I would assume it's in here. It's obviously over the over Lanes. Right, lovely. Yep, thank you. Have a good day. Uh, see you later. See you later. <laughs> yeah, so. Basically, you got the paperwork there now. And you also got the chef book. Um, which you take into B&Q, they fill out the top form. Uh, I sign the middle bit. Uh, they sign the left-hand bit. And then when they go down to chef, then they sign the right-hand bit. And they take their own copies. I take a copy out then for the, uh, for the office. And then bring the book back with me in the morning. Or in the night, I should say. I've got a feeling it's going to be over lanes, it normally is. No, there it is, it's here. A bit so it takes the legs off the ground straight on lovely jabbly Just let that lift a little bit before I pull all right tug test one two and we're locked in jobeth dunneth right uh, 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 hat hat is in the side locker <sighs> Safety glasses. Need those on. Not allowed to get out without them on. I vis. And I put, get me out of that now once I get out. So, yes. All right, let's go and finish hitching up to this. Close all the curtains down. Make sure everything's uh, nice and solid in there. And then uh, we'll crack on. So, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Toodles. Had me down for the count. I was on nine nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control. But now I'm gone. Bye bye. Bring the fire. You took something beautiful and made it something cool. I saw that.
Right, yo, all done, connected up, curtains clipped up, check the load, another bit, job done. It's not Wembley I'm going to, it's Hangar Lane, Enfield. Um, I've done this one before with you, when I was with Keydwells, Pretty straightforward place. Uh, could be a bit of a wait. Uh, every time I've been there so far, there's been a wait for it because there's normally a couple of uh, vehicles going in or queuing up. But I'm due there pretty early actually, 9:22. It's now half past six, and 9:22. I'm due there. May even be before that. I do make up a little bit of time. Turn right, Redland Avenue. Then da, 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 da. Turn left. I was going to stay there last night, but because I got back so late, there was too many vehicles there, so I had to go over to go down again. At least when you stop at services, you can use the facilities. Turn left, Marsh Lane. And then uh, it's literally three or four minutes away from ETEX anyway, so it's no biggie. So I'm going to crack on. And as you can see, it's the DVS or the proximity sensor is behaving itself. It's been pretty good all week, I've got to be honest. The only time it seems to go off quite a bit now is when you're in London. Or you're in slow moving traffic on the uh, the M4 where the road works are and you've got the barriers and it's going to pick all that up anyway. You know, so. so it does go off then. Or if you're in London and you've got a car park really close to you in the next lane. While you're waiting in traffic or whatever. So, yeah. Anyway, right, let's crack on. Let's get on with the vlog, let's get the day sorted, I'll catch you in a bit. Toodles! I got this boy in my mind that I can't live without, all his eyes I can't be. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time, I'm thinking about him all the time, I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that, oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs, so I can't get enough. I'm thinking about him all the time, I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. I say yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. I to say yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Now I can be a fighter. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's feeling new Even if we stay in bed My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter
Hello, welcome back. Uh, right, I am uh, just coming off the M4 now, onto Junction 3. Uh, looks like I've got a 24 minute delay in front of me. Um, so, don't know where the delay is, I thought it was going to be here again, because the last two days I've been here, there's been a smash right by here. So it's caused major problems coming off of Junction 3. But I don't know where this delay is going to be. It's 26 minutes now. Two and a half miles time. So that's going to be up close to the A40 junction, I think. Oh, now it says it's 13 minutes quicker if I go straight up the M4. Oh. Uh, I'll stick with the route I know in. So they're going to be early anyway. They're probably going to still be uh, loading their own vehicles and getting them ready to go out. Um, this is a cell code that I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I don't know where the delay is going to be. Two and a half miles from here, so could be just before the 40. Not sure. This is normally now where the, uh, the beeping starts. Has done for the last couple of days anyway, so. This is horrible left hander, because you're gonna slightly cut out a bit so you don't get the trailer over the curb. And you've got three lanes that are quite narrow. There you go, there's the beeping. <laughs> Picking up all sorts. After 400 yards, the but it's only when you're doing a certain speed. I think once you get over a certain speed, it seems to be okay then. Not very often it goes off. Someone's been pulled over there. Or it's broken down. May have broken down. But uh, yeah, we're currently going up to 312 now, which is, there you go, there it is, nothing there, look, <laughs> it goes off and again. Uh, camera the road changes a bit by there so I think it's picking the cab up it does it every time by there Monday or was it Tuesday Tuesday I went into uh, where that tarmac places on the left uh, so Isles, is that Isles? No, it's not Islesworth, was it? That's, um, yeah, it could be Islesworth, so it might have been Monday I did that one. And Ash has gone into there this morning. So there's two of us on this contract, two a week. And it's uh, one week in five that you put on it, hopefully, with uh, more vehicles being, uh, or more vehicles coming in. Um, with the DVS the systems fitted um, that will lengthen a bit so it might be one in six one in seven that you'd be doing it because um, it is a bit monotonous up and down the M4 corridor again like I was with CCL and into London uh, but obviously CCL was down to Southampton but Still up and down the M4 corridor. Day in, day out. Couldn't do it permanently, that's a dead cert. Like a bit of variety. Variety when you get to London, because you're going to different places in London, but um, yeah, it's up and down the M4 corridor every day. Good for the truck, man, because I'm getting good fuel returns because it's mainly flat coming up the M4. Not very many hills. So I'm getting a good uh, fuel return. An ad blue return. Normally by now I've needed to get ad blue. It's 
Thursday and I've still got half a tank of AdBlue in there, which is very unusual. And I've only had to fuel up once so far this week, which was yesterday. It's a full tank, almost. And I got a 490 litre tank. I uh, fueled up on 413 litres yesterday, so. Still had about 60 litres in there, but. Uh, Yeah, so Ash has gone into Islesworth this morning. Um, I did that Monday. A bit of a nightmare to get into, but it's not too bad, I suppose. As I say, I know I've done this one before. Uh, a couple of times, actually, when I was with Keedwells from Sinyat. So uh, this one I know. And uh, that's why I know there's probably going to be a queue outside. So every time I've gone in there, I've had to wait to get in there. It's normally, uh, normally pretty busy for deliveries. Probably get a beeping going around this roundabout as well. Camera changes in the road. Didn't go off that time. And this is where we're gonna do the traffic. It's coming up now. It's gone down the 20 minute delay now, so. As I say, yeah, in no rush to get there anyway. Yeah, sat nav spot on. Says I'm just about to hit it. And everything's slowing down, so. 18 minutes now, so it's not too bad. It is dropping. So the thing about coming in this time of day is it's rush hour. It is now 10 to nine. And we're stopped. <laughs> it's gonna be crawling all the way up now. One more day to go, then we got the weekend off. And uh, once Claire comes home from work Saturday, we're heading up to Macclesfield. As I am picking up a new motorbike on Sunday. Uh, it's not new, new, it's 10 year old, but um, it's still a nice bike. And uh, yeah, we're going up Saturday. I spend the night in a Premier Inn and then uh, Pick the bike up at past 12 Sunday and then ride back. <laughs> Looking at the forecast, it looks like it's going to be raining. So I'm going to get rather wet. If it was dry, I might have recorded coming back down, but um, if it's going to be wet, I'm not, I won't do that. Uh, we're talking of recording on the bike. I am thinking of maybe starting up a separate channel for when I go out on the bike. Uh, different places that we go to uh, with my brothers or if I go out with Claire or even if I go out on my own um, would any of you like to see a separate channel or would you want to see it on this channel I know because this is it's not trucking related so I'm thinking maybe if I do start to uh, record things on the bike maybe start a separate channel it won't be a, a weekly thing it might be once a month or whatever else but would you like to see that you know, those of you that are our bike enthusiasts, maybe you will. Um, and for those of you that know bikes, the bike I am getting is a BMW K1600 GTL. Yeah, beeps going off. Um, it's in lovely nick. And uh, I haven't actually seen it in person. I was going to get it delivered. Uh, but the way that they deliver it, uh, there was no guarantee they could do it on a weekend. Uh, so it might have been a weekday, which meant I wouldn't be there. And I'd have to be there for, uh, for the delivery to take place. So I said, no, don't worry about delivering it. I'll come and collect it. So doing it that way as well, I get used to the bike's three and a half hour run. So gets me gives me a chance to get used to the bike as well. So it's slightly bigger than the, uh, the 12 and a uh, little bit smaller than the wing. But there 
you go, look, nothing there, and they're still picking something up. The cab is bouncing slightly, so it might be the cab it's picking up. So yeah, if you do want to see some sort of channel uh, with regards to the bike, then uh, leave a comment below, and uh, perhaps I'll start another channel up with the uh, the bike riding. Who knows? Uh, well, it looks like I'm going to be stuck in this for a bit, so uh, I'm going to love you and leave you for two minutes, and then when I get going again, and I'm not far from the, and I'm not far from the uh, the Selcos, I'll come back to you. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Don't you just love coming into London at rush hour? On the A40 now, and uh, it's been slow traffic all the way down. It's moving, so it's not too bad. Um, a mile and a half away from uh, the Salco. <laughs> it says I'm going to be there in five and a half minutes for a mile and a half. My God, um, I'm coming off here now in a mile. Um, and then it's like half a mile round to where I'm going to then, so it's not too bad. And the proximity sensor's got a mind of its own again today. See? You get close to the trees, nothing. <laughs> you got nothing there, and then it goes off. <sighs> but I gotta be fair, it has been behaving itself all week. Um, I think it's where I'm just traveling slow, cabs bouncing. I think it might be picking up the cab, something like that, anyway. You get close to things, and it just doesn't go off, and then it'll go off for no reason. I put my foot on the brake, sometimes it goes off. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I've got to be honest, this is the busiest I've seen the A40 in a very long time. Very, very busy. But it is ten past nine, so people are still going into work. Their flexi times and all that sort of thing. After it tumbling yards, keep left. Let's see what that bike is. The Yamaha, I'm not sure what model. Do, do, do. It's literally just off the A40, this place I'm going to. Hang a lane. Make sure that my last... Westgate. Yeah. So it's taking me to the right place anyway. You get close to signs and everything else, and it doesn't go off. And when there's nothing there, it beeps.
but as you're going to hear it's nowhere near as bad as the last time I was recording it was going off left right and centre then wasn't it prove me wrong now <laughs> the joys of London traffic Selgo Builders Warehouse, Hangar Lane Branch. Go left. There we are. Sign by there, look. There it is. There's Selgo by there. You can see it. Nothing there. And it's going off, look. Count to ten. He'll start assist on. I'm not even moving, looking it's going off. Love the hill start assist on this. It's great, especially when you're heavy. I'm slightly stay over here now. Take up both lanes. That's a bit of a awkward turn on that one. I'm guaranteed I'll get something come up on my outside. Very busy this morning. Still looking at the buses though, and they don't look that busy compared to what they're normally like. Especially in London, normally they're rammed this time of the morning. Right. Here we go. I'm ruined. Ah, nothing there. Left and left again. It's literally just off the A40. to stop by here because I'm not blocking anything up. Go and see the guy on the gate. The hazards on. Go see the guy on the gate. And uh, oh, microphone. And see if I'm alright to go in. I'll uh, come back to you shortly. Toodles. Right, <laughs> I'm uh, 
still sat you. It's now a quarter to ten. Got you a quarter past nine. Came straight in, which wasn't too bad. Um, I've unstrapped, as you just saw. Uh, opened the curtains, unstrapped. Uh, rolled all the straps up. And I'm just at you. I've been sat here for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that, waiting for them to come out to start loading me. This place is really, really busy. It's constantly people in and out, and it's a small yard. So I've had to um, come in up the ramp. Um, can't really show you because I've got everything connected. Well, I suppose I can. Uh, I've had to. Oh, there's a block. Turn it around. Yeah, got the, the ramp over there. I've had to come round and then up here and completely spin it around, do a complete 360. Oh, get back on it. Complete 360, then reverse it back, uh, which gives you not a lot of room in the front. Uh, but saying that, a big biffer wagon did just come in. So, but they, uh, they hold traffic uh, for the car park and everything else, because it's only a small car park. So it's just a case of uh, waiting to see how long I'm here for now. But I'm open. Unstrapped, ready to come off. So I'm just waiting on them now. So uh, I will come back to you uh, when I'm leaving. I can't recall when they're uh, when they're tipping because it's too busy. Not many places like for the cameras. So uh, you see me unstrap it and whatever. So you've seen the load. So I'll come back to you when I'm leaving. Speak to you in a bit. Toodles. Right, done. Five to eleven. Hour and forty minutes. Take a pack off. Disappear for ten minutes. Then come back and take another pack off. Then disappear for ten minutes. Fair play, mind they uh, do sort you out with the traffic management and whatever. Uh, two lorries waiting to get in there, but look at it. Just concentrate with that Mercedes. All right, so all done, long last. Straight you up. Um, so now I'm heading back towards the A40. I'll be down the M4 for Swindon. B and Q loading up some pallets. I'm going to be having a break on the way down anyway. Uh, two hours 54 on the clock now, 10.55. Yeah, I'm going to need a break, working time break at least. Uh, should get the red in. Before I need a working time. Still busy. All right, got yourself on the camera, Mr. As the driver. I don't know who you are, but thank you for saying hello. Don't you just love London? Where's that coming from? Oop, to my right, my left. Go on then, get past me. I 
Should you have your sirens on if you want to go through the red lights? It gets the green and then puts the sirens on. That makes total sense. Ah, just trying to figure out now whether it'll be quicker to go down the four. Do you go straight up and just pick up the f M4? A junction two. Hmm. Could be a lot of traffic that way, mind. Oh, you just want to cut in, do you? Well, at least he said thank you. It's not something that normally happens. my side camera on my screen on full time at the moment and I'm just having it on with the indicator just to give me that little blind spot extra Keep this close to the curb now. Um, just cut in front. Look. Keep this close to the curb. So it brings the trail around within the line. And I'm not cutting in front of everyone. Take the exit, Western Avenue. The A40 looks quite clear going this way, which is good. his car on my outside now see what he wants to do guaranteed he's going to try and cut no he's slowing down yeah, pulled in behind me good man yeah. maybe that's why <laughs> you never know Never noticed a helicopter up there before in a Vanguard. Pretty cool. Busy going into London, look. Not too bad coming out though. I just wanted my indicator then going ch -ch -ch. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Hearing things. Now is this gonna take me down to the 25 and round? Or is it gonna bring me off when I came in? Don't know. Forty mile an hour. They're on a three-lane carriageway coming out of London. So 
thought this would have been right for 50, but... What do I know? And as you've heard, I've had no beeping yet either. It's got a mind of its own. There it was again. Perhaps it's the phone vibrating. Maybe. Perhaps that's what it is. Perhaps I can hear the phone vibrating. After 1.2 miles, keep right. Ah, pretty free flowing so far. In the middle lane, let these lorries out. Welcome, buddy. So, pretty painless coming out. So, that's good. So, I'm going to get to uh, Reading Services now, have a break in Reading and then uh, crack on to Swindon. I'm gonna crack on, and what I'll probably do is I'll probably do a time-lapse from Swindon, uh, not from Swindon, from Reading Services over to Swindon. So I will catch you guys very shortly. Toodles. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling It's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you That I think you're beautiful And how oh, I can't wait to hold you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down join me I'm on the uh, M48 going towards the old bridge but I'm uh, coming off just before the bridge to go into Avonmouth it's easy to come this way because Shep Palace is this side it's in uh, Seven Beach so it's uh, just on the outskirts of Avonmouth and uh, it looks like it's uh, the bridge is closed to high side of vehicles anyway with this wind because it's a little bit choppy out there today choppy and wet down a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit choppy and wet out there. Kind of the, uh, well, coming down the M4 and some of the open bits, I was getting blown about a little bit. So I've kept the speed down. Just in case. They've closed the whole bridge, but look at it. Yeah, they've closed it completely. Because of high winds. Even close it to cars. Didn't 
say anything about that uh, coming down the M4 though. Normally it's got something up on the matrix is to say the uh, the bridge is closed. Pardon me. So going the back way into Avermouth, or what I call the back way into Avermouth anyway. Open there, just close it off from the motorway for some reason. Weird. Whether you can hear the wind out there, but it's, uh, it's slightly howling out there. It's uh, only a couple of minutes away now from Shep. Uh, probably have to queue up. Normally a bit of a queue this time of the afternoon, so it could be in there an hour or so. As soon as you get in, just because you're tipping, it's uh, you're in and out really. Thing is though, because there's only three lanes getting in there, and the majority of the people going in there are looking to load, so it takes a while to load them. But you still got to go through the queue to get to the one point where you get unloaded, which takes two minutes. Uh, there we go. Not to worry, he elongates my day a bit. I'm coming up to 10 hours now, so I'm hoping to get a 12 hour now as a day. So all they seem to have managed for most of the week is a 12 hour. Got one thirty and a half hour in. Uh, as long as I get my 60, I'm happy. I'm on target for that, so. going to get a little bit wet though when I'm tipping. Luckily when I was in the B, when I went into B&Q, I was only in there uh, just about an hour I think. Got the muck on the road here. Um, yeah, I was in there about an hour and uh, they put me under the canopy to load because of the wind, which was rather nice. So I thought I might have to fight the curtains, but I didn't. It was all good there. Because uh, I went in at, uh, well I got there at five to two and two o'clock the uh, shift change. So time they all came out and got quarter past 20 past two by the time they all came out and got loaded and I was out of there at 14.55 so it was in just about an hour it is most definitely a miserable afternoon without a shadow of a doubt It's uh, only going to be one day today for the vlog. I'm not going to record again tomorrow. Uh, reason being, one, I need to edit it really quickly on the weekend because I was thinking going to the Macclesfield Saturday afternoon. So I need to get that done in the morning and upload it. So, the shorter the video, the better. But I think this is still going to be about an hour with what I've got on there. Yeah, it's only going to be a one-day vlog this week. But tomorrow is tactically the same. I'm just going into Tottenham tomorrow. So it's into Tottenham. Tip. Into B&Q Swindon again. More pallets. Back down to it. Drop the trailer down at Etex, And then head back to the yard. You are just Friday tomorrow. And everything that can go wrong probably will go wrong. Be typical for Friday, that. Jamie Q 
cat splashing about there. Ooh. As you can hear though, you know, the uh, proximity sensor is behaving itself again. Weird. Oh. <laughs> Talk of the devil and it shall appear. See now what sort of a queue is in Shep. And we got there Tuesday afternoon, about the same time, and it was queued out to the roundabout. We were in there for two, two and a half hours. And my colleague Ash got there a little bit before me and uh, I'm going to see what Ash gets up to mind he's on Instagram Ash the trucker I think it's Ash underscore the underscore trucker he's on Instagram and Facebook so if you want to give him a search and check out his pages go and give him a check out he does upload I think more or less every day just to uh, you know, put on the social media to see what he's doing so if you want to follow Ash go and check him out He was uh, loaded last night, so he, he got up to London first thing this morning. I know he's supposed to be coming off this today, because he has to have an early finish tomorrow, because he's got to go back to London to go to see his mum, I think it was, mum's birthday. So he wants an early finish tomorrow. So I think he's been taken off, I don't know whether, I think he said Donnie was taking over for tomorrow's job, but I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. Lots and lots of Amazon trailers down here. So you've got Amazon warehouse just from the corner. A lot of these are for Amazon, I think. A lot of them work nights, rather than than me. Almost there now. Amazon now when I get round this roundabout. It's a pretty big one this one. You got uh, all sorts down here. You got farm foods, um, Amazon, uh, Iceland's, all sorts down here. They're not exactly small warehouses either. And Shep, that's where I'm going to. I'm gonna go round the other side, they're gonna go round the back. I don't know if I can see if there's any queue there, I can't see. Keep all wagging in there. Not quite sure where that was Gavin or not. of a queue with a look of it. Whether there's anything once I go round this roundabout. Shush. No, nothing so far. the first so many are in the queue here one 
my god, oh, two. And one's being tipped, moment of pallets. Wow, this is very, very surprising. Very surprising indeed. I was expecting to see a huge queue. Get up. Right, let's get my curtains undone. Get me air that on. I viz. Put my big coat on because it's a bit wet out there. And uh, I will come back to you when I'm packed up. Um, I've got three people that have donated this week with messages, so I will do that before I finish the day. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get this done and I will speak to you very, very shortly. Toodles. Alright, yo. <clears throat> We're done. Don't know what that was all about, but you know. <laughs> uh, what time is it? It is quarter past six. Although there was no one, well, not many, there was like uh, three in front of me, wasn't there? Um, two of them were tipping. And the one that was actually waiting to be tipped on the bay thingamajig in front when I got there was there for about a half hour before he actually started tipping him. So I was in there just over an hour and a bit. So, got it tipped out. Not too bad, actually. I thought it was going to be a nightmare with the wind. Um, anyway, let's tip that out now. Uh, I've just dropped the trailer back off in Etex. I'm heading back over to Godano for the fourth night this week. Pack up solo. It is a lot easier to pack up solo, I've got to be honest. It's been hit and miss with uh, places to park in this place over in, uh, in Godano. I've got to be honest. Gone in there at half past seven Tuesday night. It was dead. No one in there. Monday night was really busy. Last night was so-so. So let's see what it's like now when I get in here. As you know from this morning, it's only a couple of minutes away from Etex, so... I was on the phone to Claire earlier as well, coming out of, um, out of Avonmouth to come down here. And that thing was going off left, right and centre. I literally had to shut everything down, turn everything off and reset it again. And it seemed to be okay then. But oh, and she was laughing right off at me. Uh, whether the rain got the bit or something or, or what, I don't know, but something happened and it was just constantly going off like the last time it was on the video. Unbelievable. Pulling my head out. The odd once or twice, like it just did then. Not too bad. But when it's constant, my God, it does get on one's nerves. It does. Probably staying sixth now, yeah. And then out of sixth, playing the fourth. Thank you. Tell us rush hour now. Busy, busy, busy. Hopefully I'll get a gap in the traffic where the traffic lights change. Nope, no chance. Oh, he's flashing me out. Thank you, sir. Absolute gentleman. Look, that could be the bloke that just said hello to me as I was going in. So he's coming out of an area with that uh, transporter and give me a beep. So that might have been him letting me out there. So if it was, thank you very much, sir. Very much appreciated. This wind, well, you can probably see the trees blowing on the left there. The wind is horrendous. Hopefully it's going to uh, calm down a bit for tomorrow. So I'm going into Tottenham tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get up a little bit earlier. See if I can get into Tottenham quite early. Which then means I can get down to B&Q early, get loaded, get into Avonmouth, into Shep. Oh, it's quiet in there. It's what I like. Um, get into Shep, get tipped, drop the trailer off at Etex, and then back to the yard. 
hopefully it's not going to be too much of a late finish. And last night I parked by there. Anything in that one? Yeah, got a solo unit in now. Da 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 dee dee dee. All right, let's find somewhere to park. I may have to take up a whole bay. I don't like taking up a whole bay, really, when I'm solo. Looks mm, like I'm gonna, probably going to have to. So be it. I'm not going by here. There we are, all done and dusted. Microphone. There we go. So all I've got you here now, <coughs> put that by there for a second. Uh, I've got three, three names to read out with some messages, I do believe. YouTube, my channel, go under there, go under there. Still cutting lemons oh, in half. Oh, I don't want that, no. Uh -uh. Right, drag and drop link. We have now raised 3,085 pound, which is absolutely superb. Um, 157 supporters, so that was 21 hours ago, one day ago, four days ago, and Alan Miller was the one I left, I read out last week. So there's three to read out. Um, Tony Gurren, I hope I pronounced your surname right, mate. Uh, £10 plus a 250 gift aid, he says, good luck, gents. Thank you very much, much appreciated. Uh, James R, uh, £10, thank you very much, sir. Good luck, all taking part for a great cause. Great to meet you at Godano, Jenko. Uh, truck is stunning in person. Keep up the great vids. Oh, marvellous. That was obviously one of the gents I, uh, I met up with this week. I've had a couple of people come up to me and say hello and say, come and have a look at the truck. So, uh, yeah. So, James, thank you very much, sir. Ten pound, much appreciated. Uh, Jason, um, that was M-A-S-S-E-Y. I should imagine that's Massey. Uh, Jason Massey. Uh, love the vlogs, Martin, and for the worthwhile charity. Uh, lost my dad and other relatives to cancer, so I'll always try and do my bit. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, Jason. £10 plus a 250 gift aid. Thank you, guys. Very much appreciated. Every little helps. So if you guys want to shout out on next week's vlog, click on the drag and drop link and uh, follow the instructions through. Uh, make a donation and leave a little message, and I'll read it out next week on the vlog. Uh, let's have a look at Donnie's link. Um, see how he's doing. He was up to 250 last week. Let's have a look. Uh, he is still on 250. So if you uh, want to support Donnie, the link will be in the description below. He's doing 100 push-ups a day in May for cancer research. So if you want to support Donnie, pop over there, click on the link, and uh, yeah, go and give him a little bit of support. Thank you, guys. But 250 pound is absolutely fantastic. So thank you very, 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 very much. And uh, 3,085 for the, the for the drag and drop. Um, ten of us have actually put a picture out. I said last week that we'd had a photo taken. Uh, that's now out. Um, it's out on the social media side of things. So that's all good. So thank you for all everyone that has supported so far. It is really, really appreciated. Fantastic cause. Uh, ten of us cancer. Uh, ten of us cancer care. So, so thank you guys. It is very, very much appreciated. It really is. Um, I think that's it for this week, really. Um, I'm not going to vlog tomorrow because it's exactly the same as I did today, but I'm just going to Tottenham instead of going to Ealing. I made a mistake and said I was going, I went to Enfield one, it was Ealing, Angling. Uh, got, <laughs> I got, um, 
that's what I'm looking for. Um, well, people told me that I was wrong, put it that way, <laughs> put it in my place. You're not in Enfield, you're in Ealing. Oh, okay, thank you very much for letting me know. <laughs> So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've watched to the end, uh, I don't know how long this one's going to be. It's probably going to be about 45 minutes, an hour, something like that. But I do appreciate every time you watch. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media. Uh, Jenko Trucker on Twitter. Trucker Jenko on Ferry. Uh, on Ferryman. Trucker Jenko on Facebook and Instagram. And if you want to follow Ferryman, they're on all three uh, platforms as well. Ferryman Limited. So go and check them out. So again, thank you for joining me, guys. I do appreciate everyone that watches. Thank you for your support. It does mean a lot to me. Um, and uh, yeah, whatever you're doing, guys, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs>